Hello, this is Political Common Sense for America, and I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And in this video, I want to talk about my concern for a, that we have a lack of an energy plan in this country. In the 70s, the Department of Energy was created with the sole purpose of eliminating our dependence on foreign oil, particularly Middle East oil. I'm sorry, after almost 40 years, they haven't done their job, yet their budget and their headcount has increased dramatically. What we need to focus on here is how can we create simple, straightforward solutions to this problem. We don't need a cap and trade. We don't need another tax. We don't need something that's going to push down and repress our economy and repress small business and literally increase our cost of living. What we need is simple, straightforward answers. Here's one. What if we put a mandate in, a regulation, that said all 18-wheelers, all heavy trucks, after the year 2015, had to be natural gas driven. Think about it for a second. 50% of all of the oil that's used in transportation is used in 18 wheelers. So if we converted that, if we changed that, or starting in 2015, now this is a slow conversion, because as a truck gets taken off the road and they buy a new one, this one's going to be natural gas. This will allow us within a seven-year period to reduce our Middle East oil consumption by 50%. Now, one of the arguments to one of our early plans on doing this for all automobiles was that we could never build out the infrastructure properly because you've got a gas station in every corner. But this is different because what you can literally do is just do the truck stops on the interstates. This is doable. This is possible. It makes sense. Yet, you don't hear it. And oh, by the way, all of the people that are complaining about CO2 emissions and the EPA saying that it's now a true pollutant, natural gas is 30, has 30% 30 less CO2 emissions. So if you really want to lower CO2 emissions, you really want to reduce our dependency on the Middle East and on oil, why not use natural gas, which is abundant in this country, and convert all the 18-wheelers over starting in 2015? 